What's up, Trade Hackers? Happy Holiday Monday. Today is December 23rd. Welcome to today's update. Taking a look at the S&P 500. Pretty muted day, which is typical for a holiday week trading session. Very small range, typically kind of grind sideways to higher during a holiday week like this. Now, last week kind of felt like a holiday week as well with the minimal movement, but We'll see what happens. Maybe we get some late week movement. Who knows? Maybe Santa Claus drops a bomb. You never, you just never know. So we'll be continuing to watch the markets. FYI, I did post in the community, but today's Monday the 23rd. Markets open. Tomorrow is a half day of trading on Christmas Eve, open till noon central. Closed, of course, on Christmas, December 25th. And then the markets reopen in full capacity on Thursday and Friday. Sent some alerts out today, and we may send one out tomorrow, depending on if we need to. And then uh, definitely on Thursday and Friday, we'll be back in action. So that is the plan. What else do we do today? Well, one is we, over the weekend, we got assigned some shares in SMH. So we had an inverted strangle that we've been managing and kind of fighting for the last couple months. And as price continued to move higher, we got assigned, we had in the money calls. And so we ended up getting assigned in those over the weekend. Not a big deal. Our risk did not change. Our buying power got affected a little bit, I think. I actually, I don't even know if it did, but some brokers are a little bit different if you get assigned or hold shares versus options. So what we did is we went ahead and just closed out our short stock that we got assigned. And then we closed out the short remaining put and at that point, we had 25 days until expiration. We were in this January cycle here. And so we just went ahead and closed that piece out and re-entered a new short strangle out here in Feb. So it's the exact same transaction is rolling. We just had to do it in two separate things. So we just closed out our Jan position, and then we re-entered in Feb. And what we did is we just re-centered those strikes. So now we've got the 130 put, 153 call out in the Feb cycle with 60 days. So just continue to manage that as normal. So it's just like a roll, just had to do it a little bit different logistically. Next trade we did was in gold. So we had an iron condor in gold. We went ahead and booked uh, over 50% of max profit on that. And you can see gold has really been in a pretty tight range the last few weeks. And so iron condors have done very well. So we went ahead and closed that one out and then we reopened a new one in the next cycle. Now, if we look at GLD, which is the gold ETF, you can see, I mean, implied volatility is not over that 50 level, which is where we like it to be to sell premium, but everything is low across the board. So at that point, you got to kind of start looking for, okay, what's the highest, highest on the board? This is at 34 you know, good enough. We're, we're, we're going to go ahead because we're already in the position. If you don't have a position and you're looking for stuff to do, gold could be an option. But, you know, the fact that we are already in the position and we're basically kind of extending duration on our iron condor, that's what we did there. And then lastly, in Shopify, we put on a reverse iron duck. And basically what the reverse does, it allows us to have no risk to the downside. So if Shopify crashes, and goes all the way down, we, we still make a little bit of money. It gets caught in our duck beak. And if price goes higher, we've got all the way up to over about 430 is where we would look to potentially have an exit point. So we can get all the way up to here uh, before we would need to exit. And if it lands anywhere in this area here, that is a duck head for max profit. So we'll see what happens in Shopify. So that's all I got. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever your flavor. Have a great holiday and we will check back in with you on Thursday.